back. You're watching Young Turks, India's longest running show on entrepreneurship. If you've ever looked at those beautiful graphic ads on social media and tried to take the almost impossible to self-learn Photoshop tutorial on YouTube to be able to create a little magic of your own, then you've probably given up after trying a few times. So it would be a lot simpler if someone just simplified the complicated design software into a few easy steps. That's exactly what Melanie Perkins thought of and decided to turn into her startup. It's called Canva. A multi-million dollar graphic design company, Canva is today valued at $165 million. Touted as one of Australia's hottest tech startups, Young Turks caught up with the design queen from down under and here's a look at her story. Back in 2007, Melanie Perkins was still studying at the University of Western Australia when she discovered a newfound love for graphic design. Not only did she self-learn InDesign and Photoshop, but soon started conducting workshops on those in her university as well. When conducting these workshops, it dawned on her that handling complex software was not everyone's cup of tea. So she started working on her first startup idea. So we had this huge ambition about how we could change the world of design and everything was going to be simple and online and rather than being super complex, it was going to be super simple. Um, but we were like literally university students and we had no business experience and no marketing experience or pretty much any experience that was relevant. And so um, my boyfriend actually became my co-founder and we started our first company together which was taking this idea of an online design system but for the school yearbook market. And that yearbook company ended up becoming the largest yearbook company in Australia and launched in France, New Zealand. But we always knew that that technology was much more powerful than just the yearbook market and we wanted to take it to the world and enable everyone to design all sorts of things. It became very apparent that in the future everything was going to be online and collaborative and much, much simpler and affordable. And so um, that's sort of where the idea for Canva came about. Launched in August 2012, Canva got instant validation. Within the first month, Canva saw over 50,000 sign-ups and the company claimed that 23 seconds is all you need to get up to speed with the platform was a big hit. Today, over 7.5 million users create design presentations and social media graphics using thousands of layouts that are available on the platform. And where does India stand on Canva's global user list? Well, having so far created 1 million designs, India is Canva's fourth largest market. And we now have a team of over 80 amazing people, um, which is a huge asset because everyone's so motivated and passionate and excited to be working on our product, um, which is awesome. Um, we actually also have a stock photography marketplace, so people can contribute stock photos and illustrations and even designs to our marketplace, which is then available for people to purchase around the world. And we have some of our stock photographers actually making over 2,000 US dollars a month. Um, so some people are really starting to make a fortune and make a living out of it. Canva's investor list is as diverse as the layouts on the platform. The list includes Silicon Valley investors Felicis Ventures, Google Maps co-founder Lars Rasmussen, Yahoo CFO Ken Goldman and even Hollywood actors Owen Wilson and Woody Harrelson. I was walking through a university the other day and I saw incredible designs that had been designed in Canva printed on the walls. Um, and then you hear incredible anecdotes. A sheriff's department in the US was actually using Canva to design wanted posters. And there's all these sorts of crazy stories that you could never imagine. Um, it's been really fun. We really want to get Canva into more hands and really help empower them to design. But we also just have so much more to do as far as our product vision goes because our idea is that we want to be able to take someone's idea and enable that to turn it into a design very, very quickly. Um, and we feel like we've made some serious Three steps in that direction, but we have a long way to go. Um, we want to empower the whole world to design. Melanie, more power to you, and here's wishing you all the very best. That's it then on this edition of Young Turks. If you want to get in touch with us, all you need to do is write into us, Young Turks at network18online.com. That's our email address. You can also Facebook me on my page or tweet me. My Twitter handle is at Shireen Bhan. Till then, from the entire Young Turks team, goodbye. Many thanks for watching.